Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at working out the area and circumference of circles. So for this video you are going to need your calculator, so grab a calculator, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to get started. So we're going to start off by having a look at the circumference of a circle, and then we are going to move on to the area of a circle, but we're going to go through both of them. So as I said, you are going to need a calculator, and with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so looking at the circumference of a circle to start with. So for this, you are going to need to know the formula for the, to work out the circumference of a circle. So writing this down, the circumference is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter. And when we write the formula, we don't write the time sign, so we write that the circumference is equal to pi d. Now there is another formula that you can write down for this as well, and that is that the circumference is equal to pi 2r or that would be rearranged as the circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Now we'll talk about these different formulas here and why there are two different ones, but let's get started with actually having a look at what the d and what the r actually represent. So I'm going to get rid of these two here because we only actually need those two there. Circumference equals pi times diameter or circumference equals 2 times pi times r. So the d and the r stand for the radius or the diameter. And when it comes to a circle, the distance all the way across through the center is called the diameter. Okay, diameter. Now, when we are also looking at circles, we are also interested in halfway across the circle. So just from one half of the circle into the center, that distance there is called the radius. So if you didn't already know that, that they are the two important words that we're going to be looking at when we're looking at the area and circumference of circles. So if we get rid of that, and we'll have a look at what we've been given in this question. So this question here says to work out the circumference of the circle, and it wants us to give our answer to two decimal places, which we'll deal with at the end. But as you can see, the distance across all the way through the center of the circle there has been given to us as is the diameter. So if we're going to work out the circumference, we've already been given the length that we need. So to work out that circumference, then we're going to do pi, and we're going to multiply it by the diameter, and that diameter is 6, so we're going to times it by 6. So for the purpose of this, you do need to know how to find your pi button on your calculator. Now if you are using a Casio calculator, then you'll click the shift button, and there is three buttons away from the right at the bottom. There is something that says times 10 to the power of x, and if you look behind that, there's a little pi symbol, and you can actually now click that button, and pi should appear on your calculator. If you're using a different calculator, then you might just have to have a little look around your calculator to see if you can find that pi button. But I know obviously the Casio calculator that I have linked in the description is a very common one to be used in GCSE Maths. So that is how we go about finding it. So if I type in pi times 6 on my calculator, it comes up with an answer and it comes up with the answer 6 pi. Okay, again, if you're using some calculators that don't show answers in terms of pi, it might have straight away given you a decimal. If it did give you 6 pi, however, you need to click the button that says S to D, which just converts it into a decimal. Normally, it's just above the delete button, and you can write down the full answer. So the full answer that's on my calculator screen is 18.84955. And that is there the answer for the circumference of the circle. This question, however, did say give your answer to two decimal places, so we are going to need to round this. So if I go into my decimal there, the second decimal is the 4, so if I chop a line after the 4, I can now decide is it going to stay as 18.84 or is it going to round up to 18.85. And in this particular question, it is going to round up because it's a 9 there, so that is going to round up to 18.85. And not forgetting this is a length centimetres. So there we go, that is the circumference of the circle. And just in case you didn't already know what the circumference was, although I am assuming that you do know what the circumference is as we are looking at the circumference of a circle, the circumference is the distance all the way around the outside of the circle. In other words, if I started at one point and went all the way around, that distance all the way around the outside there is our circumference. So we've got our answer, 18.85, as it's a distance. Oh, there we go, didn't mean to get rid of that. Let's bring that back. And as it is a distance, we give our answers in centimetres or whatever units are in the question. 
Right, so we're going to have a look at one more because we're not always given the diameter. So we'll have a look at one more question before you have a go. Okay, so this one says work out the circumference of the circle and give your answer this time to three significant figures. So we've got a little bit of rounding going on in these questions as well. Now this question here, we have been given the radius and we obviously need the diameter. Now this is where the original formula, the way I talked about circumference also equaling two pi r, there we go, comes into play. So if circumference is equal to two pi r, and that's because two times the radius is the same as the diameter. So if we are given the radius, we'd have to actually multiply that radius by two in order to get the full length, which is the diameter. So for this one here, if we multiply 2.4 by two, we end up with a diameter of 4.8 centimeters. And that's all that we really need to do on a question like this, because now we can just plug it into the original formula, which is that the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. So it doesn't really matter which formula you use, as long as you are aware that the first formula that I've written down just there requires you just to multiply the radius by two. And obviously if you're already given the diameter, then we just wanna use pi times diameter. So it's best just to stick with one formula, particularly if you're not 100% confident with this. So I will always stick with this formula and just manipulate my radius to make sure it is written as a diameter. So if we type this into our calculators, we've got pi multiplied by 4.8. And again, I'm gonna write down the full digits on my calculator. So it's pi times 4.8, convert that into a decimal, and it comes out as an answer 15.0796 There we go. Now this one here does say to round it to three significant figures, which is the third number after the first whole number. So we have one, five, zero, so we chop it after the zero, and that's a seven after the zero, so that is gonna round the zero up to a one, and we get 15.1, and again, units, a length, centimeters. And there we go, there's our final answer. So all you need to be able to do for this is obviously remember the formula, which is pi times diameter, and then identify what the diameter is and stick that into your calculator, which just means as well, you do need to know how to find your pi button, otherwise you're not gonna be able to type this in. And let's have a low go at some questions for you. Okay, so there's two questions, so pause the video there, have a go at these two, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Right, okay, so for the first one. Now we've been given the diameter, so we're gonna do pi times nine. There we go, pi times nine. And if we type that into the calculator, convert that into a decimal, we get the answer 28.274333388. And this particular question says to give it to two decimal places. So if we chop that after the seven, that's gonna come out as 28.27. It doesn't round up because it's a four after the line, units, centimeters. And there we go. Onto the next one. This one hasn't given us the diameter, so we do need to multiply that by two. And if we multiply that by two, the diameter, the distance all the way through, is gonna be 7.2 centimeters. Now we can put that into our formula. So we can do pi times 7.2. And when we work that out, let's have a look, pi times 7.2, and that comes out as 22.61, a lot more decimals, so let's have, let's just write this down, 22.61946711. Again, this question wants us to round it, this time to three significant figures. So that's 226, that is the third significant figure. So that is gonna round to 22.6. Again, this one doesn't round up, centimeters. And there we go, that's our final answer. So that's how we go about working out the circumference of a circle. Now for the next step, we're gonna have a look at area. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so when we are working out area of a circle, we have a different formula. And the formula for working out the area of a circle, if we write it down, area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. Again, when it comes to this formula, we don't write the time sign, so we just write that area is equal to pi r squared. Again, not forgetting there, that does mean that there is a time sign between them when we're working these out. Now again, for this one, this time we have looked something different. We've got r squared involved. So you need to know how to find your squared button on your calculator. Alternatively, if you do not have a squared button, then I'll show you how to type it in anyway. You just have to times the radius by itself. So if we are gonna do this, then we need to identify the radius. And this question, the radius has been given to us, it's 2.4 centimeters. 
So again, if we're gonna work out the area then, we're also gonna to have to think about our units and we'll think about that at the end. So let's start by just plugging everything in. So we're gonna do pi multiplied by 2.4 squared. And again, if you don't have a squared button, then you could write this as pi times 2.4 times another 2.4. Hopefully you do have the squared button though, and but if you do, let's just type that in. So I press shift, get my pi button symbol again, times 2.4 squared, and I press equals, and again I have to turn it back into a decimal, but I get the answer 18.09557368. Now again, just bearing in mind how it says to round it and not forgetting always write down the full number but it wants us to round it to three significant figures which if I chop it after my third significant figure goes 180 so chop it after the zero and we have a nine after the zero so that's going to round up to 18.1. Now again this is an area so our units are centimeters but when we have an area we give that a centimeter squared so my final answer for this one would be 18.1 centimeter squared and that is the area of the circle. Okay, so we're going to have a look at one more example before you have a go. Let's have a look at that one now. So this question says work out the area of the circle and again give your answer to two decimal places. Now this question here has given us six and that is the diameter. So in order to get the radius, this time we're going to have to halve that number. So for just half of the distance across, it's going to be half of six, which is three centimetres. So always make sure you identify the radius first, because obviously our formula is area equals pi times the radius squared. So sticking these numbers in then, nice and quick, we've got pi times three squared, or of course you could write pi times three times three, but let's type this in, pi times three squared, and I get a final answer that comes out of my calculator as nine pi, so I'll convert that into a decimal, and I get 28.27 four, three, 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 eight, eight. Now again, it wants me to round it, so to two decimal places, after the seven there, that's the second decimal. That does not round up as it's a four afterwards, so it's 28.27 units are gonna be centimeters area squared. There we go, so that's my final answer, 28.27 centimeter squared. Right, okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions for you to have a go at before we finish. Okay, so here's two questions, so pause the video there, have a go at these two, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so for the first one, now you've been given the diameter for this one, so we need to halve it, so the radius here is gonna be four centimeters. Now we can plug that into our formula, so pi times four squared, which if I type into my calculator, comes out as 16 pi, so I just want to convert that into a decimal, and I get the answer, 50.26548246. There we go. It says to give your answer to two decimal places. So if we chop that after the second decimal, which is the six, that five afterwards means it is going to round up. So it goes up to 50.27. And my units, not forgetting those, centimeters squared. And there's the final answer for the first one. On to the next one, and our final question. This has given me the radius, so my formula, I'm gonna type in pi times 6.2 squared, and if we type that into the calculator, let's see what we get. We get an answer, converting it back into a decimal, we get an answer of 120.7628216, and I wanna convert that now to three significant figures. So the third significant figure is the one, two, zero. There we go, so after the zero. Now there is a seven after that, so that seven is meaning that the zero is gonna go up to a one. So this is gonna go to a whole number, 121 units, centimeter squared. And there we go, that's my final answer. And that finishes off these questions. So I hope you managed to get those right. I hope you found that okay. I hope you were able to find your pie button. Again, if that was useful and helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And if you are wanting to go further than this, then you could have a look at working out the area and arc length of sectors. And I will link that video in the description for you to check out. But until next time, see you later.